Hello, Julio. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm pretty well. What about you? I'm fine. Very fine. I finished the finished project today. Oh, really? Yes. And I pray. Okay. So it was easy or difficult, the project? <sighs> it's difficult. Oh, my. You said that you started on Monday, right? Yeah, and uh, Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, will you start another project now or not yet? Uh, no, for the moment, because it's about the work. Okay. Yeah. If the job have another project, maybe. So you don't want to? No, I I am employed, but the the sometimes we have projects with another. Uh, Empresas? How do you say empresas? Other companies? Other companies. Uh, and we go to work at work or another another town, another municipio in wow. El, El Salvador. Nice. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad that you finished the project. Thank you. Hello, Alvina. Welcome. Hello, Letty. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. So let's start checking some information related to this, okay? Now, I want you to focus on the two words that we have here, okay? We have the expression already, okay? So according to this expression, Letty, when do we use the expression already? Eh, a mí me preguntó. Yes. Ok, que me estaba poniendo la hojita. ¿Cuándo se ocupa finished already? When do you use already? Uh -huh. eh, cuando has terminado la acción. Exactly. Yeah. When something is finished. Exactly. Now, what about the use of the expression yet, Julio? When do you use it? When the action is not unfinished. Exactly. So let's check more information about this, okay? Remember that we were checking the present perfect, okay? So let's review the structure again, but now using the expression already. Albino, can you help me with the structure, please? Subject plus auxiliary have or has plus already plus verb past participle. Okay, thank you very much. So now that we check this information, let's identify the different examples. Julio, can you help me with example number one, please? I have already visited the universities. Okay, Letty, can you help me with the second sentence, please? Remember to add already. She has already won the match. Okay, perfect. So when I am using these expressions, for example, visited three universities, this action is finished or unfinished? 
is finished. Is finished, exactly. And if I told you that she has won the match, this is finished or unfinished? This is finished too. Finished too, exactly. So if you use the expression already, is because the action is finished. Let's continue. Now, what about the next structure? Can you help me with this structure, Letty? Subject plus haven't, have, haven't or hasn't plus past participle plus yet. Okay. Albino, can you help me with the first example, please? I haven't made a decision yet. Okay. And the second one, Julio? She hasn't finished yet. Okay. So again, if you use the expression yet, it's because the action is unfinished. Okay, now let's go back to the previous example. In this example, the use of already is for affirmative or negative sentence? Affirmative. Affirmative, exactly. And the use of yet, affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative, okay. So let's keep that information in mind. Let's continue with the next structure. Can you help me with this one, please, Julio? The structure? Oops, sorry. Have or has plus subject plus past participle plus yet plus market question. Question? Sorry, question mark. Excellent, very good. Okay, so in this case, in the questions, I am using already or yet? Yet. Okay, so in the questions and in the negatives, we are going to be using yet. And in the affirmative sentences, we use already, okay. So now let's focus on the questions that we have here. Can you help me with the question number one, Letty? Uh, have you seen that film yet? Okay. Now, if I want to answer this question, how do I answer? I haven't seen yet. Hmm. But this is a yes, no question or WH question? Yes or no. Okay, so if it is a yes, no question, what is the answer? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. What about number two? Uh, let me see, I see somebody else here. Mm, Catherine, can you help me with the second question, please? Okay, maybe not. Nicolás, can you help me with the second question? Uh, has he made a decision yet? Okay, so how do I answer to this question? Um, um, yes, he, yes, he has. Exactly, yes, he has. Why? Because we are using yes, no questions, okay? So if it is a yes, no question, you have to answer with the same auxiliary. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, you haven't. Okay. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. The same auxiliaries. Okay. Now that we check the different forms, let's go back again to the use of already. Okay. Um, think about today. Okay. Think about today. For example, I can say, for me, okay, your teacher, 
One example for me is Okay, I can say I have already finished classes. Why? Because after the class at 9 p.m., I don't have another class. So technically, I have already finished classes. What about you? Can you tell me something from today that you have completed or that you have finished? Um, Letty? I have already washed the dishes. Okay, Albina. I have already cooked the dinner. Okay, Julia. I have already project. I have already what? Finished project. Ah, okay. What about you, Nicolas? Uh, I have already done my homework. Okay, that's good. Perfect, you got the idea. Now let's check the other expression. What about something that you have not finished today? Okay, think about today, something that you have not finished. For example, okay, in my case, I can give this example. I haven't checked all the homework. Okay, this is for me, all right? I have not finished yet. But I will do it, of course, but I have not finished yet. So I haven't checked all the homework yet because it's not completed. What about you, uh, Albina? Something that you have not finished today? Um, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Excellent, Julia? I haven't finished a uh, certification. Okay, yes, you are working on that. Um, Letty? I haven't cleaned all the house yet. Okay, good example. Nicolas? Uh, I haven't washed the dishes yet. Okay, perfect. You got it. So you get the idea for this. Perfect. Let's continue. So now that we practice with the different expressions, let's try to, uh, to complete the following activities. So in this sentence, I need to use already or I need to use yet. So I want you to focus on the sentence and consider what is the best possibility. I need to use yet or I need to use already. Okay, for example, in the sentence number one, they haven't started preparing for the party. So how can I say, the same sentence, but using already or yet. Okay, is the instruction clear for the activity? Yes. Yes. yes, okay. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to open the rooms and I'm going to send you to the rooms so you can discuss with your classmates and identify the best possible answers. But we are going to do the first one together so you can get better the idea. Okay, so in the sentence number one, again, they haven't started preparing for the party. So how can I start this sentence? Uh, who is the person? Who is the, the subject? They. They. they, okay, so I need to use they again. What about the auxiliary? Have it. Have it. Uh -huh. They have it, perfect. Now, what is the verb in this case? It started. It started. 
Uh, actually, it's the other. Oh, preparing. Preparing. Okay, but in the past participle. Prepared. Prepared. Mm -hmm. So they haven't prepared what? For, For the, party. the party. For the party. Now, yet. do you consider I need to use yet or already? Yet. 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 Exactly. Okay. So this is the best option. They haven't prepared for the party yet. They will do it in the future, but right now they haven't prepared for the party yet. Okay? So is the idea better for this activity? Yes. Okay, cool. So let me prepare the rooms. Okay, perfect. So I will see you in the rooms. Teacher, la, las oraciones. Yes, I just sent it. Okay. Uh, Hi, I just sent the information in the chat. Okay, thanks. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Oi, sí. Oi, sí. Va, ok. Gracias. Bye. Va, pues la... Uh, the, the number two is she has already studied advanced biology. Already? Uh-huh. She has already studied advanced biology. And the number three. Cut. I haven't done my homework yet. I haven't done my homework yet. Okay, and the number four. We, we have visited the art gallery. Uh, we have already. Already. Already visited the art gallery. Okay. La cinco. How you call uh, your grandmother? Jet. Es una pregunta. Already visited. La segunda con already, tercera yet, y cuarta already va. Sí. Y veamos la quinta. Mando otras. Ah. Sí. Ahí siempre al chat. Ah, sí, ya la vi. Have you called? Have you called your grandmother? Esa es. Pregunta. Esa es con Jet. Sí, con Jet, eh. Solo que no. Have logré anotar la 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 estructura de esa. la estructura es lo mismo es have or has subject uh -huh. 
Verb past participle. Más yet. Pero aquí creo que se debería agregar el complemento y dejar yet de último. Have you called your grandmother yet? Ajá, llamado a tu abuela aún. No, esperando. Have you called your grandmother? Al final va, ¿verdad? Creería yo, pero tengo dudas. Porque no, no le haya sentido. Has llamado a tu abuela aún. Como no hay en negativo, se oye raro, pero no sé, creería yo que sí, Bayet, pero no, no, no sé. Ah, sí, yes, so it is a question. Ah, ok, thank you. Yeah, when you are using yet at the end, it's, it's like, um, how can I say it? This is still an action that is not finished. So when you use it, for example, in Spanish, is when you say, ya, eh, ya terminaste. Have you finished yet? Okay, eh, en, en question sonaría así. Exactly. Porque en positivo already, ¿verdad? Yes, in affirmative we use already. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so you finished? Yes, no. Number no. six is a... Uh... Okay, perfect. So let me send you back to the main session. Y el último, también Jet, que pregunta. Uh -huh. Okay, did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, welcome back everybody. So let's share the different options that we have. So let me, what is number two? They haven't started preparing for the party yet. And, that is and the second, the second or the first? Number two. She has already studied advanced biology. Excellent. Biology, okay. What about number three, Nicolas? I haven't done my homework yet. Perfect. And number four, um, Julia? We have already visited art gallery okay
Okay, perfect. Let's continue. What about number five, Albino? Have you called your grandmother yet? Perfect. Number six, Letty. Ren has already seen the film. Awesome. Next one, eh, Nicolás. Eh, Ren has already seen the film. Number seven. Oh, sorry. The football match has eh, already started. Perfect. And number eight, Julio. Has he been to the dentist about this about his tooth yet? Excellent. You got the idea. Perfect. Okay, let's continue with the following thing. Right now, I'm going to give you, let me see, <clears throat> like two minutes so you can create your own bucket list. Okay. A bucket list are all of the different experiences or activities that you want to do in the future, okay? So, for example, you can tell me, I don't know. I'm going to give you a few examples. Um, like, I want to swim with sharks, okay? That could be a possibility. Some people like those kind of activities. Okay, another activity, um, swim with sharks, eat, snake, no, try, try snake. I don't know, another experience that you can have. Do a bungee jump. Okay, and travel to I don't know, Dubai. Okay, I'm just making up something in general, okay? My, like many different experiences that people would like to have. So this is a bucket list, okay? Things that you want to do in the future, okay? Activities that you want to do in the future, like your dream activities, okay? Is the idea clear for this? The bucket list? Yes, okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes and make your list, prepare your list for all of the different things that you want to do in the future. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes and then I will explain the next part.
Okay, are you ready with the bucket list or not yet? Okay, please let me know when you are ready so we can continue. I am ready. Okay, thank you very much. I am all ready. Good. All right, so now that you're finished, that you have your bucket list, I want you to do the following. Using the structure, okay, with the expression yet, tell me what do you plan to do in the future? For example, you can say, I haven't tried a snake yet. I haven't traveled to Dubai yet, okay? Because these are activities that are not completed yet, but probably in the future you will do it. But right now, they are not finished, okay? So what about you, Nicolas? Can you start? Uh, I haven't to I haven't I haven't create uh, my own company yet. Okay. What is? What did you? Anything else or just that? Ah, okay. Um, um, I haven't uh, learned English yet. Okay. Um, I I haven't both both yeah my own house yet. Okay. Thank you, Nicolas. Continue. Sorry, I can't pronounce. Eh, uh, you, Albina. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't visited Antigua, Guatemala yet, and also I haven't finished the university yet. Okay. And that's that's it. Okay. Has anybody else finished yet? Me. Okay, Julio. I haven't gone up a Salco volcano. Yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. What else? And I haven't visited Roatan Beach yet. And I haven't traveled to Colombia yet. And I haven't finished the university yet. Okay, that sounds good. Anybody else? I'm ready. Okay, let me. I haven't traveled to Europe yet. I haven't visited my family in USA yet. I haven't finished induction for missionary yet. I haven't done exercise yet. I haven't, esta no sé si así está bien escrito. I haven't take it, taken my dog to class yet. To class? 
Sí, clases para, para ella o para el perro. Really? Ok. No, oh, yeah, that's ok. Para que aprenda a socializar. Ah. Ok, interesting. Mm -hmm. Muerde gente. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so he needs to practice not to do it. Very good. Okay. Um, let me see. Abigail, you ready? Yes. Okay. I haven't graduated for the university yet. I haven't speak more English yet. I haven't learned to swim more yet. I haven't studied French yet. And I do, I haven't do exercise yet. I haven't work yet. And I haven't learned to play chess yet. And I haven't learned to play ping pong yet. And I haven't learned to play basketball yet. And I haven't traveled to a country yet. Okay, very good examples. Just remember that you always have to use the past participle. I haven't done exercise yet. Okay, always the past participle. Okay, excellent. Um, Catherine, what about you? Uh, I haven't visited Canada yet, and I haven't finished my certification yet. Okay, and that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. All right. So now let's do the opposite. These are all of the different things that you have not finished yet. Okay, you have not completed these actions, but. What about the experiences that you have already had, okay? So now I'm going to send you for five minutes to the rooms, well, maybe more. So you can discuss with your classmates and tell them about your own experiences. All of the things that you have done already in your life, okay? For example, you can say, I have been to... I have already been to Europe. One example, I have already eaten iguana, if you have done that experience, okay? So again, think about the different experiences, the interesting experiences that you have had in your life, and then share with your classmates using the expression already. I have already, okay, that expression. Is the instruction clear for that? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, good. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to leave you in the rooms for seven minutes, just in case. If you finish before, you just let me know. Um, again, what you are going to do is discuss all of the experiences that you have already completed. Okay, I will see you in the room. Okay. Um, okay. I I have already traveled to another country, and I I already done uh important software for my company. And I already bought uh, my own car. Only that for, for the moment.
I have already visited Amatitran Lake on Guatemala. I have already traveled Did you finish like this? Yes, I, I am ready. Hey, I have already traveled to Medellin, Colombia. I have already studied theology. I have already uh, uh, gone, gone, when sería, verdad? When? went to the park with my dog. I have already cooked dinner. Solo es. I have already been in Guatemala. I have already done my homework and I have already taken a nap. I have already been in Dreamland. I have already been on the beach. I have already been in Santana. I have already been in San Lazaro. I have already been great. I have already been in great Sherlock Holmes. Probarlo. Ah, no, hombre. Sí. Teacher, we're finished, teacher. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we're just waiting for the ladies to come back. Okay, perfect. Welcome back. Excellent practice, everybody. So let's continue with more. Okay, now the last part before we continue, always talking about the present perfect, is the expression 
just. Okay? So, Letty, when do I use the expression just? When finishes right now. Exactly. At the moment that I am speaking, this action just finished. Okay? For example, can you help me with example number one, Abigail? I have used eating pizza. Okay, and number two, Julio? He has just entered the class. Okay, so again, actions that happen like right now, like maybe one second ago, okay? Like at the moment that I am speaking, this action just happened, okay? That is what we mean. When the action has finished at this specific moment that I am speaking to you, the action finished. Okay, it's not anymore going. It finished the action. So then you can use the expression just, okay? Now that we check this expression, I'm going to stop sharing here so we can practice with all of the adverbs. Okay, so we have checked five different adverbs. For, since, already, yet and just five different adverbs so read the information and tell me what do you think is the best possibility to complete it okay for example number one Pino, what do you think is the best option since or for since okay what about number two um abigail Get. Excellent. Number three, Julia. Four. Perfect. Number four, Letty. Yes. Science. Hmm. Are you no. sure? <laughs> just. No tengo claro qué significa just. When you just finish the action, ah, the action okay. has been completed right now. Just. Okay, number five, Nicolás. My children have already finished their prayer. Excellent. Teacher, the, I have yes? a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is the meaning tedious? Tedious tedious is when you clean, but very, very much. I mean, not okay. only clean like that, but clean that you can see yourself in the in what you are cleaning. Ah, okay, okay. Thank very, you. very clean. Okay, um, number six, Catherine. Uh, since no so, no no four four exactly it's a period of time four what about number seven albino Yet. Excellent. Number eight, Letty. Uh, I haven't talked to her since she was 20. Excellent. Number nine, Julio. Already. Okay. Number 10, Abigail. Four. Okay. Are you sure? No. Yes. Just. The action, yes. the action has been completed right now. 
Okay. He just returned. Okay, 11, Nicolás. Okay, is have you paid for the trip yet? Excellent. Number 12, Catherine. Susan hasn't seen me since age. Mm, do you consider this a specific mm. or a period of time? Four. Four, like a very long period of time. Mm. Okay, number 13. Let me see. Albino? They have already gone to the airport. Excellent. Number 14, Letty. It has just started raining. Perfect. Right now, okay? Just started. And number 15, Julio. Ryan has texted me since. Okay, perfect. Very good, everybody. We got 10. Okay, thank you very much for coming and we will continue with more next week. Enjoy the weekend and take care. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Bye. Have a good night. See you next week. See you.